This is the Reverend Walter Hall. Hello. In 1943, Walter founded MHA as an independent charity with a vision to provide care, support and accommodation for older people in need. The MHA we now know and love has grown and evolved from what was a pioneering small charity, but it still prides itself on those founding principles that Walter Hall held so dear. A tall, thin and white-haired man, a practical idealist and deservedly popular, just some of the descriptions afforded to our founder. Walter's personal journey began in Nottingham where he grew up. He would later go on to start his very own ministry in Jamaica with the Methodist Free Church. After many years abroad, Walter returned home where he continued his ministry across the whole of the UK, working up and down the country. During his retirement, Walter arguably became even busier than before, and it's here that he founded Methodist Homes for the Aged, now known as MHA. Walter's personal life journey and experiences of the wider world had shaped him, and he was driven by his personal ideal to provide housing and care to people in later life. The very first home opened in 1945, following the turbulent period of the Second World War, and initially housed a small group of women. This was just the beginning of MHA's story. Walter stated that he didn't want the endeavour to be the activity of a few interested individuals, and that no enterprise has been entered upon with more prayerful solicitude. Walter embodied faith in action, which is reiterated through his support of the Peace Act of 1928, where a local newspaper wrote that Walter believed his support for the act to be a moral gesture which pioneered a welcome change of spirit on the part of the peoples of the world. This social focus and concern came from a place of faith, as Walter said, I am determined to remove that reproach from the church which says it is indifferent to common welfare. Walter was clearly someone ahead of his time in the work of social justice and concern in the church. As a Methodist minister, it's unsurprising how deeply Walter felt this need to help older people, just as founding father of Methodism, John Wesley, was a champion of liberty for body, mind and spirit. This idea of looking at the person holistically is still at the core of MHA today, where we aim to meet our individual residents and members' physical, mental and spiritual needs. As early as 1935, Walter had written to the Reverend Ensor Walters about his aim to provide housing through the Methodist Church. Newspaper reports from the time reveal that Walter toured the country in the hope of gaining funding to see Methodist homes be successful and widely accessible. Walter worked tirelessly to secure funding, raising many tens of thousands of pounds. This became the foundations of a charitable venture alongside the importance of fundraising, most notably through the generosity of Methodist Church congregants, from whom MHA still gratefully receives to this day. Walter lived to be 89 years old and was lauded for all he had achieved. On Wednesday the 20th of July 1966, on hearing of Walter Hall's death, the Reading Evening Post wrote that he was the pioneer of the Methodist homes and the old folks' friend. Walter was clearly an an admired man whose faith and social concern resulted in a successful attempt to face one of the greatest needs of our country, the provision of an adequate and happy home life for those who are in the even tide of their lives. MHA's story did not, thankfully, end there, and in many ways this was just the beginning. In 2021, MHA has expanded to include schemes, care homes, retirement living and community groups, all with the aim of ensuring that older people have the opportunity to live later life well. Our story may have started with one man, the Reverend Walter Hall, over 75 years ago, but now extends well beyond his original vision, with passion, care and commitment embodied by an ever-expanded MHA family. 
Following on from Walter's legacy, we celebrate today those ideals first pioneered all those years ago, whilst continuing to be inspired and propelled forward by our Methodist values. MHA today has indeed expanded on that vision as we provide a wealth of services. Some highlights include Dementia care, working to better understand this challenging and complex condition. Music therapy, looking at the role of music in rehabilitation, helping sustain existing capabilities and independence. End of life care, ensuring care, attention and dignity in the final phase of life. Green care, engaging with nature and looking at bringing multisensory benefits from the world around us. Our new venture, Digital Communities, where we use the latest technology to tackle growing problems of social isolation. And finally, the role of being an active influencer in our Fix Care for All campaign, where we are calling for action to ensure that everyone in later life can receive excellent and affordable care. The past 75 years has been a great example of how a single vision can bring about meaningful change. May our continuing provision of equal care and compassion for those in later life continue to shine brightly. Here's to another 75 years of MHA.